invincible spirit. The horse to be sort of gonna have to run out of superlatives for. A son of the desert, out of Rafa. This man who herself won the Prix de Diane. She's also the dad of Kodiak. He's not done too badly at stud either. He's from the family of Gustav Schmidt. So he's great to be good. As a two-year-old who won the Ripper two-year-old trophy, trained by John Donner. He claimed his group one win in the Haydock Sprint Cup. He tied to the Irish National Stud in 2003 and a fee of 10,000 euros. I'm sure you all know that he stands now at 120,000. He had a great syndicate behind him that believed in him from day one. But in reality, this is a horse that's done it all the hard way. Beside winners, held the number of winners two rounds of the year season record. Group horses, group one horses, classic winners, champions, and now stallions. Lifetime, he's 118 stakes winners. Eighteen good bomb winners. This year he turned 22, and as I'm sure you agree, he looks a fantastic. Nick. But he's not done yet. He covered, he, he signed 19 individual stakes winners last season. Three Group 1 winners, started by Ectodar, who won the uh, Commonwealth Cup, Group 1, so a Group 1 winning three-year-old sprinter. And inside a Group 1 winning two-year-old double over a weekend with Magna Grecia and Royal Meeting, both winning Group 1. So two extremely talented Colts to go forward for in 2019. And with the caliber of mares that he's covered since he's gone to 100,000, 120,000, all to run for He's still got a lot of quality animals to go. So I'm sure he's set to add to those stats so far, but he's already got surpassed. And so last year he was crowned the leading European sire of Sprinter Milers. Side the joint top of two year old group one winners. So at the age of 22, he's still going for it. He's got a lot of young contenders coming around him, but he's still the king of speed. And that's invincible spirit. He himself, he shuttled down to Australia for a couple of seasons, left the sack, I am invincible behind. Still got some high class stallion sons still to go, including national events, but he's got the likes of Shula. Cable Bay will have his first representatives this year. Territories profitable. For a farm like ours, he's the horse of a lifetime. And like I say, he's done it all his own back. Galileo and Bali have been covering high class mares for years. He's had to do it himself. So that's a bit of a and I'm sure you agree. He looks a great nick for a 32 year old horse. So. so that's our roster for 2019. Um, I hope you all agree that they look fantastic. So maybe a round of applause for the guys in the past. Year. If anyone's got any queries, questions, or 